greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Today's thought is from Psalm 27 verse 4. One thing I have desired of the Lord that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to enquire in his temple. Here when David prayed, David asked one thing, that he may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. See the desire of David. He told the Lord about his desire. His, he told the Lord that I, he may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of his life. David's heart desired to dwell in the house of the Lord. David knew the blessings of being in the house of the Lord. David knew the importance of dwelling in the house of the Lord. That's why he asked the Lord, throughout my lifetime, for all the days of my life, I want to dwell in the house of the Lord. We are asking many things in our prayers. Are we asking God to dwell in the house of the Lord? Many times we are not giving importance to the house of God. We are just ignoring or we are just taking it lightly, but David desired to dwell in the house of the Lord. We also need to ask the Lord to give us the grace to dwell in the house of the Lord. We need to have the desire first, then only we can ask the Lord. Shall we do a word of prayer? Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, change our desires, O God. Lord, remove every unwanted, unnecessary desire from our heart. Help us to have the desire to dwell in your house, Lord. Help us to give us, help us to give the importance to your house, O God. Lord Jesus, change our desires. Help us to dwell in your house throughout our lifetime, O God. Jesus, we love you, we worship you, we bless your holy name, O God. Let your name alone be glorified. Bless your children. Let this day be a day of miracle for your children. Lord, help them to go to the house of God. Help them to be a blessing to the house of God. Let them dwell in your house, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.